the days when I have a say in what he eats or wears. It totally looks like we copied their clothes. Three years in the making. <laughs> what kind of lantern did you choose? Mini. Should we open our first moon cake? Okay, Mama's a monster now. Hi, it's raining. Once again, if I remember correctly, it's like this in Hong Kong all the time. There's a bunch of really rainy days and then boom, cooler fall nicer, cool for Hong Kong weather is here. So I'm looking forward to that figurative rainbow at the end of all this gloomy weather. I am on the way to drop off some things at my accountant because today is a boring day of getting stuff done that I've been putting off for a while, like doctor's appointments I didn't want to do, bank appointment, all that kind of fun stuff that you save for a rainy day. That rainy day is today. I am on the hunt for a mid-autumn festival outfit for Levi to wear to his school party because they were told to dress in something Chinese style and he has a very specific jacket he wants. I showed him some options and he really wants that one. I tried to change his mind but gone are the days when I have a say in what he eats or wears. <laughs> he has opinions now. Here it is. The Autumn Festival is all about the moon and stars and it's got the whole galaxy. He's festive like his mama. Do you see how hot and humid it is? The middle of September.
Wait, yes. Jump. Chandi. Ela Chandi. Okay. Okay, go, go, go. Get some paint. It has been a minute since I printed out actual photos. <laughs> I used to do it all the time as a teenager and it's pretty crazy to think of the random photo shoots and I don't know, pictures I captured that a stranger would have to see and like print out. It just doesn't happen nowadays. I rarely do this and it shows in my home because we don't have really any family photos anywhere. I think I just have my wedding photo. I adore this photo of Rosie. A Japanese pet photographer took this of her at her hair salon. Some cousin love. One of all of our favorite nights this summer. It totally looks like we copied their pose. I've been putting the final touches on Levi's room, which has been a work in progress for over three years now. It started way before he was born because in Chinese culture, it's taboo or at least bad feng shui for the mother and baby to do renovations before the third trimester. It probably has something to do with the stress that it usually brings. Hopefully everything will get done quickly and it will go well and he won't be born early because that is gonna stress me out. This room was a guest bedroom before with glass panel sliding doors here and we wanted to transform it into something more nursery appropriate and we did that when I was seven or eight months pregnant. We had other things we wanted to do around the home so we actually decided to move out for it, just rent an Airbnb. This is all important for what I'm gonna tell you soon. I really wanted to do something special on this back wall, a painting, a mural or something, but I wanted it to be a neutral color so that I don't get sick of it and I wanted it to also be versatile and be able to grow through different themes and ages because I don't want to keep changing it again and again. So I had a look on Pinterest and I decided on mountains, overcoming obstacles, slowly working your way up. These are kind of underlying themes of our journey to get Levi and I feel like they can work with anything. Animals, cars would work with mountains in the background, whatever he's into. But finding a painter to paint this background in the short amount of time that I had because it was just right before I gave birth in the third trimester and willing to use toxic free paints and work with all like my conditions and at a reasonable price was actually really hard to find. So I had kind of given up on the idea. I thought I might have to paint it myself or just like leave the room white. And then we rented our Airbnb in Shengwan, which is another area in Hong Kong. And I was out doing a walk one day and I saw a painter outside of a shop it was a gemstone shop and she was painting these large gemstones on the shop wall and it was fate because it was literally like a, almost the shape of a mountain. I have a business card. I don't want to bother you. Oh. Okay, just because I have an idea in mind. But what is that? I want to do mountains. Oh. So this kind of reminds me. The like it too? Yeah. Yeah, let's talk. Okay, sounds good. Good luck with the painting. Be careful on the with too loud. The balancing thing. Yeah, yeah, you too. Be yeah, careful. yeah. <laughs> that way, that way. I think it's it's just crazy to me because she was only painting for two to three days and she was on day two, I believe, when I saw her. So I really had to be there at that exact time and place for this exchange to happen. Okay, so yeah, message me if anything. I'll just be downstairs. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Joanne worked on the wall for two days and I got exactly what I was hoping for with these mountains. The plan was to do the rest of the nursery lion theme, but I ran out of time by the time we moved back home. Plus our confinement nanny's bed was in this room as well. If you don't know, I did Chinese confinement. Rest and recovery for the mom is a major part of it, especially during that first month after giving birth. So the confinement nanny stays with your baby at night and helps to take care of them. Of course we need to wake up for feedings, but we will go back to sleep right after and get as much sleep as we possibly can. At that time, I decided to just leave it with only what we really needed. We had a crib, we had a changing table, which was also a dresser. We had a wardrobe, only the essentials. And we sold the dresser changing table as soon as Levi outgrew it so that we would have more play area here. His bed though was a great investment. This was actually his original crib. It transforms as they grow. It goes from a raised crib to a lower crib to a slightly opened crib to different forms of taller beds. Nupe! Wow. 
And then you could do a loft bed or even bunk bed. It is on the pricier side, but if you work it out, he uses it every day, often twice a day until he's like six. So the math math. So I got my long lasting adaptable mountains and bed. And now I just needed to finish this room with a theme, but finding something that a toddler likes for a long period of time is pretty difficult in all aspects, food, clothing, toys, different things are fun and interesting all the time. So that's why it's really exciting when I find something I can actually grow with him. And it's a big bonus when it's brain boosting and something that we can connect on and do together. For that, I would like to thank KiwiCo for just existing as an option to parents and for sponsoring this portion of the video. Ready? Ready. Are you closing your eyes? No. KiwiCo creates crates of purposeful toys and hands-on projects that are both fun for kids and adults. Watching Levi open a new box and seeing the way his mind works as he plays with these new discoveries is so rewarding. And I love that I don't need to think or plan. Levi always has new age-appropriate research-backed toys to engage all of his senses that simply get delivered every other month with everything I need inside. The hard work that KiwiCo puts into deciding what's in these crates is obvious. Everything is chosen by experts, tested by kids, and it really shows because Levi gets instantly hooked. They've provided hours of entertainment. You want to play with puppets? Yes, and so many opportunities for connecting together. I got the Panda Crate Plus, which is for kids up to three years old, filled with toys and resources for parents, including information on your child's stage of development, different ways to play with the toys inside the crate, and simple DIYs you can do with things you already have around your home. There's different crates and payment plans available for different families and budgets, and for older kids as well. Basically, every interest at every age. To find out more, head to kiwico.com slash taylorr and use the discount code taylorr for 20% off your first KiwiCo crate. Okay, back to the theme. Dinosaurs is what I decided on. Dinosaurs have been the one thing that has lasted a long time. Even during moments where his interests shift a bit, like right now he's really into Thomas the Train, he often comes back to still play with it. Plus I'm just doing some accent touches, so I don't really need to commit to the theme too, too much. Then I chose my main colors, which is mustard and blue, besides all the neutral like grays and browns and whatever. Having these colors in mind when shopping for linen and decorations just makes things much easier and keeps the room more cohesive. I did these colors for the duvet and the pillowcase, these cushions here. I bought them from this gorgeous small shop. They make really high quality, beautiful stuff. And then I leaned into the theme a bit more with the bed sheets and stuffed toys, wall art, posters. Then the rest of the things he's interested in will rotate weekly or monthly on the shelf. This desk is from Ikea. It's also a sensory table. You can buy these bins inside and you can put different things inside, water, whatever. And here we have a little reading nooks. This space was pretty useless and I found these book stands on Amazon, which were actually the perfect size. And this cushion is also from Amazon. You can customize it to choose the exact size, thickness, fabric and colors that you want. And then the books I just switch out monthly, I store the extras on top of his wardrobe. Years in the making. <laughs> this mat is.
is from Momomi. We have another one in our living room and loved it so much that we put one here. And honestly, sometimes Levi sleeps, not sometimes, often Levi sleeps here over his bed. It is so comfortable. And that's it. This is Levi's final room for now. in Shenghuan. There is a cafe that I've been wanting to check out so I'm heading there while I have this three hour break before I pick up Levi for school. I'm gonna get some editing done, have a matcha, and that's it. That's the plan. So the tradition is kids will carry their own lanterns too and light them up. So Levi chooses one every year. What kind of lantern did you choose? Mini. up with games and things for sale, flowers, snacks, but not tonight because it's pouring rain. There is a little bit down there more. We just did a quick visit this year. Soaking wet. 
Should we open our first mooncake? 